The peace of the Lord be with you for this Vespers evening prayer. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sole hope of all the world and Lord, bestower of the great reward, receive the prayers thy servants raise, mixed with meet psalms and chants of praise. And though our conscience doth proclaim our deep transgressions and our shame, cleanse us, O God, we humbly plead, from sins of thought and word and deed. Our sins remember thou no more, Forgive thou art of mighty power, so take upon thee, Lord, our care, that pure in heart we make our prayer. Therefore accept, O Lord, this tide of fast which thou hast sanctified, that we may reach by mystic ways the sacraments of Easter days. Psalm 10. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. In the Lord I have taken my refuge, how can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world. His gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked. He sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice. The upright shall see his face. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord cares for the weak and oppressed. God chose us in his Son and made us his adopted sons. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven, and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God chose us in his Son, and made us his adopted sons. A short reading from Romans chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. What proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners, having died to make us righteous. Is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? A short response to I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I bear witness to myself, says the Lord, and the Father who sent me bears witness to me. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things 
sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I bear witness to myself, says the Lord, and the Father who sent me bears witness to me. Prayers and Intercessions Let us call on the name of the Lord Jesus, who saves his people from their sins. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Christ our Lord, you gave up yourself, up for the church to make her holy. Renew her once more through the spirit of repentance. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Good Master, let young people discover that way of life which you have planned for each one of them. May they be faithful to your grace and fulfill your will for them. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Give hope to the sick and make them well again. Help us to comfort and take care of them. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. In baptism, you made us sons of the Father. May we live for you now and always. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Grant to the faithful departed peace and glory. Let us reign with them one day in your heavenly kingdom. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on us. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, your abounding grace has enriched us with every blessing. Transform us from our sinful condition to newness of life and prepare us for the glory of your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.